On the last day of April with storms on its way, I had to stop by the farm store to see if there wasn't something I couldn't live without. Aren't these gorgeous? We're gonna plant some purslane and some marigolds. Come on, let's plant. And our cherry tomato, you know, we just pruned that up and we already got suckers coming on. This is almost tall enough to trellis. We'll be doing that shortly. Hope you join me for that. But with this rain coming, this is a perfect time to put these in the ground. So tonight's April showers, tomorrow's continued May flowers. Something like that. See, I couldn't just leave that sitting there. That's gorgeous. Now right here, these three tomatoes we're doing a little test with. We got our indeterminate that we're gonna take all the suckers off. This indeterminate, we're gonna leave the suckers on and that determinant is not gonna get very big. I was asked why we plant marigolds as a companion. And they do say it has something to do with critters. I can't tell you it helps. I can't tell you it hurts. I plant them for two reasons. One, they're really kind of pretty. And two, you can eat them. And if you've been following my story, you know we like to put stuff in the garden that we can eat. Why we do it? Because it tastes great. Well, we've got a few more things to put in. Let's go ahead and get those in the ground. I'm thinking right here by this barrel is a perfect spot to put some ground cover. Well, let's get this purslane in. we got another lettuce container and we've got a bean that came up on its own. And I'm probably going to have to run a string up here so nobody's going to walk right here. This is another good spot for a little bit of ground cover. Pull that mulch back, and I'm telling you, this soil underneath this mulch, I just can't get over it. And that's just how easy and fast it is to plant the deep mulch. Well, you know what? I think Carla needs a companion. Let's go see how Carla did overnight. Carla did wonderful. Let's go ahead and put a marigold between these two. the mulch out of the hole. <laughs> there, Carla's got a friend. So we're coming to the end of April, we planted something every day. We got quite a few things up. We got quite a few things that still need to come up. I think we're off to a pretty good start. We might even have a couple little clusters of grapes this year. Yeah, I do have one big push coming up and that's sweet potatoes. That's gonna take us several days to plant everything that we've got started. I thought we had a carrot down in here. Well, <laughs> I got a purple one and some orange ones. That one's kind of twisted together. <laughs> well, me and Riley are gonna have us some carrots tonight. And our patch of garlic's doing extremely well. And can you see that massive cabbage inside the greenhouse? We haven't talked about it in a while. It's doing just fine. We have quite a few more potatoes that are flowering. It's not going to be too long. We're going to be able to peek underneath here, get some new potatoes. So far, it's looking pretty good. For anybody that's in that weather, you're in our prayers. Hopefully it's just the last of the April showers, which will bring you May flowers. You can do this too. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.